On today's podcast, we're going to be covering three pallet and racking safety tips, so stay tuned. Welcome to Warehouse Safety Tips. You can find the show notes to each episode, links to information mentioned on the podcast, the social media platforms we're on, and anything else related to the podcast at warehousesafetytips.com. Now, if you're a seasoned podcast listener, this podcast is going to be different from most you listen to. It's based around exactly what the name implies, warehouse safety tips. And since the people in this industry are busy, we know that time is money and each episode will be as short and to the point as possible. And now with all of that out of the way, let's get to the podcast. If you've ever seen one of those videos where someone hits a rack with a lift truck and it causes a domino effect of damage, you won't soon forget it. And if you're unfortunate enough to have witnessed or have caused it in real life, you'll definitely never forget it. Not only can it result in a large amount of time, production, and money loss, but it can bring about the ultimate loss of all, you and or your coworkers' lives. Much like most accidents, it can be avoided. Here are three pallet and racking safety tips to help. Tip number one begins the same way most things do, and that's with training. That training can occur in several ways, but for our tips today, we're going to stick with two things, rack and lift truck training. We could go into detail about the do's and don'ts of lift truck operation and have in previous podcasts, but we're going to make it simple and say no and follow the rules and regulations related to operating a lift truck before ever entering the racks in your facility. So far as racks are concerned, be sure to know, including but not limited to, what a secure, non-damage racking system and the pallets within them are supposed to look like, how pallets are supposed to be arranged or stacked on the racks, including what sort of items go where and what weights need to be observed, how inventory procedures work, and where items of concern such as sprinkler heads, cameras, and or lighting are located to avoid hitting them with your lift truck and or your load. Tip number two is about pallet and racking inspection. With pallets, your inspection is pretty easy. Just make sure they're not damaged and can safely and properly handle the load that you're putting on them. Racks aren't quite as simple. When inspecting racks, you want to make sure that danger areas such as corners are free of damage. And next, make sure you look over all areas and ensure nothing looks out of place. With both pallets and racks, if you do find something, make sure you alert all applicable parties. Before moving on, here's a word from one of our sponsors. If you've ever been to or worked in a warehouse, you know just how important safety is to both management and staff. It's almost impossible to go 10 steps without seeing safety tape, angles, signs, and or safety products. It's these items that show us how to be safe and avoid danger in the workplace. And if you're looking for the best products to make this happen, look no further than Mighty Line. Mighty Line floor signs and floor markings offer the best industrial products out there. We're proud to have Mighty Line as the official floor sign and floor marking company for the Warehouse Safety Tips podcast and site. Go to MightyLineTape.com forward slash safety tips to request a sample pack of their incredible safety signs and floor markings. Now back to the podcast. Tip number three isn't as much about the pallet and rack as it is what you're wearing when dealing with them, and that's safety equipment. Chances are this is something that you're supposed to be doing anyway, but another reminder can't hurt. Anytime you're loading or unloading pallets and or operating equipment to move them, be sure that you're protecting everything that has the potential of being affected by what you're doing. This means the usual suspects of steel-toed shoes, gloves, goggles, masks, and back support, just to name a few. But when you're dealing with the potential height of racks, make sure that you're also implementing harnesses and other equipment to protect you from falls. If you take time, pay attention, and follow the three tips provided on today's podcast, you'll be well on your way to staying safe. And staying safe is what we're here to help you do. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Warehouse Safety Tips. If you visit warehousesafetytips.com, you'll find the show notes for this episode and access to all of our blog posts, previous podcasts, advertiser information, and much more. 
Thank you for listening to Warehouse Safety Tips and have a safe day.